Yes, it was a very big room uh, with only about 220 people, and that was to accommodate the brains because there was a lot of brain power in there. And, and you know, everybody that attended today is really involved in the industry, very interested in its success, and, and, and I think was engaged in the conversation, even if they were sitting in the gallery and not engaging. A lot of people taking notes and getting takeaways out of it and asking for extra paper and that sort of thing. And, you know, it, it, there were some interesting topics, and probably one of the most interesting ones of the lot, uh, aside of talking about from the winter season a recap and, and giving some projections about how that looks, and then onto the econometrics, a good discussion about summer and the tipping point of where the industry is, whether or not destinations are ready to take the leap, whether or not they think they're equipped to take that leap, and, and whether or not it really holds value and helps support the winter product by supporting the summer product. It's going to depend upon who you ask. Uh, it, you know, there are some challenges out there, to be sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's, a, there's an aging population and market that we're losing. And, and uh, we talked about in general session two about a generational gap that needs to be handed off, a handoff to the next generation. And it, that's difficult to do as those people enter their, their child and family raising years and career years. So there are some challenges there, but at the same time, there's a lot of strength at the core. And the industry is really, really supported by people who are skiers instead of people who just ski. And, and I think that hands on well, and we'd be looking for you know, familial investment where parents are handing that tradition on to their children and on to their nephews and nieces as part of it. But, but clearly, efforts need to be made there. Overall, I think, though, we're, we're looking at a good news and a good environment.